strange stance of foot at the Circle K. <laughs> yeah, Circle K in Egypt. Okay, at the catacombs here. About to go under the ground. Have a few little buildings here that's standing above. Sign there for the catacomb. Have to step all the way down. He go. Mm. Interesting. steps but Bones. rooms in here which is amazing they just chiseled and carved this okay they kind of kneel down in some of these areas Thank you. 
Stairs that come down. Okay, I'm gonna reach the end of the road on this one because I am not going to low crawl through that, but that. But more adventurous, I guess you could low crawl all the way to the end of there. But not happening today. Getting smaller and smaller. And smaller and smaller and that's about it okay the lights just went off in here in the catacombs so this is a new experience so uh, catacombs at night <laughs> he's got some sunlight but yeah it's it's dark it's dark Okay, so lights went out. Like a different experience seeing the catacombs in the dark. Look at that. that's, that's a pretty neat experience. See the catacombs in the dark. I mean, imagine ancient tomb raider and archaeologist that would come into a cave with nothing but a flashlight or a torch and see something like that. That's kind of like something you'd see out of the movies. Pretty cool. So again, visiting this room again, it's the most decorative. But it's a whole new aesthetic with the dark. I gotta say, this was quite an experience that the lights went out. And then go in here. It's definitely a whole new experience with the lights out. Oh yeah, and, they, and the colors and the shadow work really, 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 really good. So yeah, this is a very unique kind of experience. Just be here in the darkness, in a catacomb in the darkness. So yeah, cool. Yeah, nothing eerie like walking through an underground catacomb with all these old graves with nothing but a cell phone light. Get you through everything. Nothing at all that creepy about this, huh? You see the folks down there with their cell phone lights out. But I, I gotta say, in my whole life, I never thought I'd be underground in some catacombs and uh, the lights would go out. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I was walking on the backside of this little mound that's uh, above the catacombs. And it never fails. Every country and place and city I go to, I always come across one shoe. And I mean, it's not like it's broken or anything. So what is the story of the guy that got to this point in his life and just said, I gotta leave you behind, shoe? I mean, if you're watching this part of the video, comment below what you think happened. What is the story that happened here in Alexandria, Egypt, outside of the catacombs? That a guy just abandoned a flip-flop and went to, I mean, where? I mean, you kind of need a shoe to walk around here. So, yeah. Okay, so just outside the catacombs, there's some columns and some other ruins here. 
couple of headless uh, statues there. There we go. Okay. Not sure what this is. Let's see, this is the Tigran tomb. Okay, there's some photos kind of describing the descent into the catacombs. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this still existing on the walls. You figured it might want to put a layer of plexiglass on that to keep it preserved somewhat, but wow. Now, I almost passed this building up. I almost just exited. I'm glad I didn't. Look at that. Just amazing. some hieroglyphics so it looks like a, maybe a snake tail or something but yeah leaving the catacombs I'm glad I caught this building right here on the way out I almost just left yeah it's been a pretty cool uh, experience especially when the power went out I, I don't know if that's planned or if it, I did come it was after three o'clock so they closed at four so maybe that's something they do every day I don't know I'm gonna have to google it but if not that was an unexpected, unpl well, at least on my part, it was unexpected that the lights would go out and just using cell phone lights to kind of walk around and see the place in the dark. Completely new experience uh, to kind of be walking around, fumbling around in the dark. So that definitely ranks in the top 100 experience, life experiences for me when that happened, uh, unexpected experiences. So uh, pretty cool. So hopefully it translates well to the video. Okay, I didn't get here early enough. Actually, today they are closed, but this is the modern Library of Alexandria. Uh, in ancient history, there was a library that caught fire, and at the time it had uh, all the most books or the most knowledge in all of the world. Then it burnt down, and then they made this modern one. I would like to one day, if I came back, to go inside and see this, but, uh, but yeah, they got a lot of uh, hieroglyphics on this. I would love to see this inside one day but not today okay so essentially here in the area where the lighthouse once stood the lighthouse of Alexandria that is a well, I think a citadel fort a lot of people out here and a lot of things are closed today and super long lines but yeah this is basically the area where the lighthouse stood just past this fort and it was, uh, I think, uh, one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. I have to fact check myself, but I believe it was. All right. So, Alexandria, Egypt, Mediterranean. And at the site of where the lighthouse once stood. Okay. I couldn't get in to see the actual point, but there it is right there. The spot where the lighthouse of Alexandria once stood. So I came over here further down the Corniche. I'm uh, at this seafood restaurant uh, right off the Corniche here in Alexandria, Egypt. A place called Kodora. I guess I'm saying that right. Uh, it's been in business since 1950 according to the plate here. But what I found interesting, it's a dolphin with a crown on it and shades uh, on a jet ski holding a plate of fish. What a very creative and imaginative uh, logo that they got here. But yeah, dolphin on a jet ski holding a plate of fish wearing shades with a crown. All right. Okay, first thing they're bringing out is this soup. Basically, it's like a crab chowder, maybe, with mussels. Or... Some grilled sea bass. It was uh, ill-tempered sea bass. I got some fried shrimp. Those look really tasty. 
Not quite sure what that is, but uh, definitely down for the shrimp and some grilled fish.